I had posted a story about my dog, but he's like, my entire world. I love that dog. And John sent me a message about him and was like, oh, you have such a cute pup. And he just knew, like, that was like the way to my heart. And so I gave him a chance and we went on a date. I picked her up from her house and we went to downtown Macon. Like, I can still remember the what he was wearing, what the first song was when I got in his truck. I, I remember everything. And then we got done eating and I was bringing her back home, got back to her house and literally sat in my truck and talked for, I don't even know, two and a half hours. It, like it was over after that. Like I knew he was, I knew he was the one basically after our first date. I didn't want to get out of the truck. That night, I texted both of my best friends and I literally said, she's the one. It's a good day, we got sunlight we can chase We can see where it takes us, writing stories that shape us I am so proud of her. I am proud that she's my sister and I have looked up to her more than anybody in my entire life. She has turned out to be the best little sister I could ever hope for and I want her to know that I love her very much. John Wayne, let me tell you about him. He may be quiet, but he is so calm and he is so strong. And when I'm anxious, he is there to just like kind of steady me. He isn't one to brag about himself. He's very humble in the sense of, you know, it's not about him. Everything that he has is about God. Oh man, I could just, I don't know, I could just go on and on about him. Never sunrise, looking out, we see it all with fresh eyes. There's a hope that you can take With the dawn of a new day We got everything beneath our feet We see it all So today we celebrate with Kendall's journey that's taken her You are beautiful I love you I have had the honor of walking beside her for 29 years But this is where Kendall's journey has led her and I embrace this. So I raise my glass to both of you in toasting my daughter and now my son-in-law, John. I'm so proud of you. You know that, right? I love you so much. I love you. I hope you know that. To a long and prosperous life. And wherever your journey takes you, you will always have my heart. It's been 854 days since I first messaged you. 820 since I asked you to be my girlfriend and 371 since I asked you to marry me. <laughs> but today, <clears throat> the number restarts at one. In the moment, born for adventure, made to run free. John, I can't believe the day is finally here that I get to marry you. When I first met you, I was in such a low point in my life and you were like the light at the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. Don't you just look beautiful? I knew after our first date that you were something special. Mm. You got me. <laughs> you have breathed life and inspiration into my world and have helped me grow into the person I am today. Kendall, you are the biggest blessing of my life. I couldn't even begin to imagine my life without you by my side. You have a kind heart that shines through in everything you do and I feel so lucky to be the one you've chosen to share the rest of your life. Sunlight we can't chase We can follow the ocean We can live in the moment Born 
for adventure, made to run free. Days we'll remember with the world to see. Always. I love how calm he is. I'm a very anxious person. He calms me down and he steadies me. And that's what I love most about him. He, he makes me feel safe. Before Kendall, I never had somebody that was always on my side. I never know what that was like. Kendall's done that from day one. Kendall is the uh, best person I have ever gotten to know. She is my best friend. Kendall's my my person. Everything I could have ever dreamed of. After I got married, I remember thinking, it's John's turn, right? Well, Kendall, you were perfect. When you first, you know, when I first talked to you and saw you, I, I remember looking at Allie and saying, God, I hope John does not mess this up. I've never seen John as happy as he was when he's with you. Cannot thank you enough for taking care of John. Up to the stars, can you see me now? Dear KK, after all these years growing up with you, I cannot believe I'm finally watching my baby sister get married. I cannot tell you how proud I am of you and all of your accomplishments. Seeing you today brings back so many memories. And I realize I don't have to protect you anymore because you found him. I hope and pray that you both always remember that before anything, your marriage comes first. And then even on your darkest days, to remember the day, this day, and how much love and happiness you feel right now. So here's to the very beginning and what's to come. We got the people shake all the way. Uh -huh. Ain't no time to wait. Aye, aye, uh, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? By the authority vested in me by the power in the state of Georgia, I now pronounce you husband and wife. John, you may kiss your bride. And I don't know what I would do, but I have you to say "hunt to" a hundred times a day. Let's go. Let's go. I'm sorry. Oh, you're crying. Just because you're so beautiful. I'm sorry. I'm such a baby today. You okay? I'm good. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. I haven't shed a tear today. Huh? I haven't shed a tear today. Do what? I said I haven't shed a tear today. No? Mm -mm.
Hey, we can read the flowers. <laughs> and, then, and then we're all done. <laughs> we don't have to worry about wind no more. Yeah. Oh, boy. Mm, mm, mm. It's going to be a long day. This is going to be a long day. Uh, Kendall, um, the day is finally here. Uh, a year and a week ago, I asked you to marry me, and we spent a year planning this special day. Um, I can't believe it's here. I'm sure you can't either. Um, I just want to say that I love you. I always love you. Um, I can't wait to see you walk down this aisle. Um, if I start crying, don't judge me. I love you. Um, I can't wait to see you here in a couple hours. John Wayne, I love you so much and I can't wait to be your wife and I can't wait for this life that we're going to have. 